Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to another video. Yes, just yesterday I made a video on the Return of the Ancients mod, but look, there's new stuff. Yes, you're seeing this correctly, this is the Alpha Peeper. And it looks gorgeous, if you ask me. And we can even pick it up, okay, I, for some reason I expected this to be like huge. But no, it's not. And my god, those sounds, though. Oh, <laughs> okay. They look super cool. I'm kind of creeped out by their, like, eye. And they blink very rapidly, too. But they look really cool. Those sounds are creepy. <laughs> okay, let me take a look at what exactly their entry says. Never mind. I can't scan them anymore. Okay, then. But... These Alpha Peepers aren't the only new thing in the new update for Subnautica Return of the Ancients. Um, I'm pretty sure these spawn all around the map right now. The spawn locations aren't final though. But, I mean, they look super cool. I'm sure they're going to have a very important purpose later on in the game. Um, oh, it's the creep vine I can scan. So apparently you can't scan these guys. But for now, yeah, they, they don't do much as far as I can tell. I really like their sounds and their looks though. They look great. But, like I said, there's a lot of new stuff, so let's get to it. Um, so I found this. Can someone explain? <laughs> what is this? And why is this a thing? Pick up holographic projector, and it says something about Craig? Who, who is Craig? Is this Craig? And if this is Craig, why why does he look like this? Is, is Craig okay? Craig, buddy, are you alright? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to say about this, but, um, yeah, this is in the game now. I just went into survival mode real quick so we can have a look at the new gargantuan leviathan interactions, because apparently they got updated. I probably should have brought a sonar, but I'm sure we'll be fine, and I'm sure nothing's gonna go wrong at all. This is gonna be fine, right? I don't think I've ever actually just gone into the void in survival mode from the start, so this is kind of scary because I don't know where the gargantuan is. I'm gonna take a look at my camps. Oh my god, I found him! Okay, he's right below us. And this is what I was talking about. At first, the gargantuan now checks out your cyclops uh, before trying to eat it, uh, which makes this thing so much more creepy if you ask me. So yeah, uh, it's now behaving more like a predator and it will check out your cyclops before deciding to eat it. And yeah, your cyclops now also warns you that the, the apex predator is showing extreme aggression, which means it's going in for a bite. Uh, I don't know from where. Oh, I know from where. Yeah, you don't want to see this like ever. So the new gargantuan leviathan behavior is definitely going to kind of screw you over. And I'm pretty sure I'm almost dead. As far as I know, you only survived two attacks from him. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're kind of dead now. So another thing they added is new interactions with uh, <laughs> the fish, as it's called here. Um, so if it would stay here for a second, I could show you. Come here. Stay, stay here. It definitely wants to eat that. <laughs> Poor sand shark, my god. Come here. I just want to play with you, please. There are new interactions, I promise. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, come on. I got you. The sounds are also kind of creepy, if you ask me. But there you go. There's a few new animations when you play with your baby gargantuan leviathan. Um, it just straight up murdered that bone shark. No, sand shark. Jesus. Okay, please come here. So yeah, there's a few new interactions for your baby Gargantua Leviathan, as long as you can find its head, which is actually more difficult than you think, because this thing is long. Like, super long. Hey, there's a new one too. So I don't know how many exactly there are, but I've seen at least two new ones so far. Now down here in the lava zone, there's also a new resource for you to drill. Uh, it's called Barrel, and apparently it spawns in the active and inactive lava zone. So I'm just gonna go look down here because this is a lot brighter and it should probably be easier to spot, right? So, uh, apparently it's way easier to spot up here, but this is the new Red Barrel. In my opinion, this looks very similar to the Red Crystals from Below Zero. Maybe that's actually the same model, I'm not sure. But this is a new crafting ingredient which you're gonna need for a lot of the stuff from this mod. There's also, of course, smaller chunks somewhere else, but this is where you go for the big amounts with your prawn suit. 
In case you're wondering, it's right next to the castle over here. There's a bunch of them as well. The Alpha Peeper also has a ton of color variations, as you can see here. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to spawn all of them in so you can take a look at them. This is the first one. This is the second one, which looks absolutely amazing. Kind of looks like a toxic version, which I really like. This is the third version, which we saw earlier. And this is the fourth version, which basically is the same, just that it has a blue eye. And honestly, out of all these four, the toxic green one is probably my favorite. And apparently, they also overhauled the Sunbeam event. So let's go take a look at that. I misspelled the command. Whoops. Boys, brace yourselves. We're breaching atmosphere in 10, 9, 8. Wait, what's that? What? No, that energy spike. It's getting larger. From the building? Everyone get to the escape pods now. I don't think I'll be able to steer clear of it. Mayday, mayday. Thrusters have taken heavy damage. Bracing for impact. What the hell? So, yeah, there's a ton of new effects, and I also really like the new explosion, like, water splashes they added. It's looking better and better. Of course, there were, like, no story or, like, voice acting or animation changes, but those little details make it a lot better. So, yeah, those were all the changes in the newest version of the Return of the Ancients mod. I keep getting questions, when is this mod gonna come out? And, honestly, I don't know. But the devs are making great progress, so I think you guys should be able to get your hands on it rather sooner than later. Let me know down in the comments what part of this mod you are most excited for to play with. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!